the hardest fight in my career, it would have to be... What's up? Terrence Crawford reveals his toughest opponent. And you know what I was talking I was talking about, if you watched previous videos, one of them I mentioned, let's check this out. Terrence Crawford has fought some of the toughest fighters in the sport. However, there are only two boxers who were his toughest opponents. Lithuanian boxer Ejedijus Kavaliauskas and the Cuban Yuriorkis Gamboa. There you go. Crawford recalled his fight with Gamboa, explaining why Gamboa was such a tough fight. Mm. Gamboa's feet was just so fat. Mm. And he was and he was so small to where he was darting in and darting out and he was hitting me and making me miss so wait before i even hear this because i didn't watch it yet gamboa oh wow it's very unorthodox jumps in has a little mike tyson-esque in my opinion uppercut his style was crazy and he was super fast and I feel like he was just one of those guys that never put it all together and he had so much talent. So much talent. But uh, let's see what Terrence Crawford says. So, with Terrence Crawford deciding to move up to super middleweight, see? he'll have a lot more tough competition coming his way. Can Terrence Crawford beat Canelo Alvarez? Does he have the power to hurt Canelo? Hell no. Nah. Triple G is one of the hardest punching middleweights of all time. But what did Bud say about his toughest fights in the ring until now? In this video, we take a look and relive the welterweights most- Before I even get into that, Terrence Crawford, like a lot of people were trying to discredit him recently after his July fight versus uh, Spence. Spence is a magnificent fighter. We, we went over this. People were saying to this day, oh, he was on pads, this and that. They forgot all about, which we covered on here. We talked about this, how he dismantled, uh, took a Crawford, took Crawford's best shots, how that was the fight. I knew it. I was talking about it. And look, he's one of his toughest opponents out of the two. He was like, just go, going to go out on his shield. It was, that's when Terrence Crawford showed what he was made of. So by the time he got in there with Spence, he made it look easy. Of course, Spence wasn't his toughest fight. Because on his way to mastering his craft and becoming the legendary fighter that Crawford is now, he had worked and, and honed all those skills for that big night with Spence. And he went through it all already with people like the two opponents he previously mentioned. Let's continue. Difficult moments in the ring. Stick around and watch this one until the end to find out. Terence Crawford, one of boxing's finest pound-for-pound pound fighters, has faced numerous challengers in the ring. However, in a candid revelation, Crawford has named Yuriorkis Gamboa as his toughest opponent to date. This admission comes as a surprise to many, given Crawford's extensive and impressive fight history. Real quick, imagine watching YouTube like five years from now and everything is AI like this. It's just a total AI, no voice, no, everything's fake. Yapping, but let's continue. In a recent interview, Terrence Crawford talked about the toughest opponents he faced. The first name he took was the Lithuanian boxer Ejedijus Kavaliauskas, a.k.a. The Mean I told y'all! I told you all! Crawford faced Ejedijus in 2019. Wait, that wasn't no surprise to your boy right here. He was telling you, go back, even in July, right? In July? Weeks ago, after the fight, I was talking about this. I was talking about how Gamboa, how you've seen this already. They were saying, oh, he never beat anybody up like he did Spence. Well, that was not true. These were just, you know, these are just fans that are in denial or fly-by-night boxing fans that they didn't even watch the Gamboa fight. They had no idea who Gamboa was. And some did, it just such a Bud fans and, I mean, sorry, uh, Spence fans, which I was, am, I still am, of course, but they were just in denial and they're just going to make stuff up and say, oh, he never beat anyone like that before, but he beat people like this before. He did it. Just watched a Gamboa fight. Let's continue. Where he successfully defended his WBO welterweight championship mm -hmm. with an exciting ninth round TKO victory. Crawford said that the Lithuanian was a tough competitor and indeed it was. Crawford and Ejedijus fought a grueling Say nine rounds, times. but in the end, Bud wore down the previously undefeated Lithuanian and stopped him ahead of the championship rounds. Crawford didn't look hurt, but it certainly appeared to be a knockdown. In any case, it seemed to ignite Crawford. Instead of fighting more cautiously, Crawford closed even more distance, stayed in the pocket, 
and worked feverishly to even the score. Crawford shows all the skills in the world, and he, if he wants to move up, he's better do this quick, and he's better. They're talking about right now with the championship getting stripped. There's conflicting reports, and then there's Haney weighing in. I'm going to talk about that. Haney is saying that uh, uh, this other guy that got the title is a paper champion, email champion, but it's crazy how all these belts, we, we all know it doesn't matter. Bud is the undisputed champ at his weight. He won the titles. doesn't matter. Let's continue relived the fight and gave an in-depth account of why Gamboa was his most difficult fight ever. I got, get I got, I got rocked by Gamboa, and what? then that same round... <laughs> Crawford that. took on Gamboa in his hometown not, of Omaha, yeah, Nebraska, and it was a crucial one since he was defending his WBO light welterweight title. Gamboa's strategy from the outset was aggressive and calculated. His rapid movements and body shots in the early rounds caught Crawford off guard. Gamboa's oh. upper body and head movement made him a difficult target, and his winging right hands. So anyway, um, yeah, the the fight with Gamboa. I just want to fast forward through this video real quick. Was what was probably one of my, if not my favorite Crawford fight, for so many reasons. I really like Gamboa, and I knew he was super, super like amazing in there, and he could definitely, he could have a good chance with Crawford. So it, it just was just a really exciting throwback type of a fight. He was more, you know, he had he he was more effective than um, Spence was in his fight with Crawford. That is Gamboa. Let's check this out real quick. Found their mark, signaling his intent and capability to Crawford. Crawford's ability to switch to a southpaw stance in the fourth round was a game changer. This adjustment so negated Gamboa's right hand, which had been effective up to that point. Gamboa struggled to counter this change, and his attacks became predictable, leading to a knockdown by Crawford. However, Gamboa's resilience was on full display as he continued to fight back with determination. The fight escalated with both boxers exchanging more freely. Gamboa's legs seemed unsteady at times, but his spirit was unbroken. He continued to press forward, landing significant blows that momentarily rocked Crawford. The ninth round saw Gamboa's best punches, a left hook right. Yeah, Terrence Crawford, multi-talented, he switches stance, he's creative, he comes in there and he flips the script, if you will, he, he thinks on his feet, he's so good at what he does, but unfortunately the age is going to catch up with him like it does with every other fighter, so that's why he said, if he's going to have these fights and he wants to go up high and wait, and if, if the Canelo fight is ever on a table, you probably want to do that fast. Um, I'm not too sure where I stand now with the Canelo fight, if they meet at a lower catch weight, I think he has better chance than taking on a, a heavier Canelo. Um, Canelo, you know, as you know, once fought Floyd Mayweather, super middleweight. I don't know what I how I feel about this yet, but at 35 years old, and Canelo is look, Canelo's getting up there too. And plus, all the fights, you know, they eventually they, they put wear and tear in the body, all that mileage. It just it catches up, so it's it's, it's an intriguing fight. But is Canelo too big for Crawford? That's the question. Right-hand combination that visibly shook Crawford. It was a clear display of Gamboa's skill and self-belief, even against a larger opponent. The fight concluded with Crawford's victory, but not without highlighting Gamboa's formidable challenge. Gamboa fought with the heart of a champion, never losing faith in his abilities. His efforts were more admirable than his previous 23 outings, earning him respect and admiration. Where's the clip of them fighting? Oh, I forgot, this guy's monetized this AI channel. They don't want to interrupt that and possibly get a content ID match or copyright strike. But it is fair use if you show clips of it. I don't know why they didn't do that. I think I already had clips of it going while I was talking at points, but it's more work. Um, you throw this stuff into the software, it cuts it up for you. Maybe the, the, the clips take a little more work and a little more, uh, so far, these, these editing programs i don't think they can do video as well as the photos so that takes a little more work and time and if you're pumping out on ai channel to get the monetize to get the money quicker you want to do it quick and you don't have time for that let's continue from fans and critics alike crawford's win was significant hmm. but gamboa's performance was so basically terence crawford tko i forget ko he finished Gamboa, but he was rocked, and it was an amazing fight where he stood his ground. He took so many chances in that fight. That is Crawford. He, he, I'm telling you, he was willing to go out on the shield. If you didn't watch the full fight, I suggest you YouTube it. You need to see it. It's an amazing fight. If you if you watched it a long time ago, 
and you forgot, you almost forgot Roy Jones Jr., you might want to check it out again because I watched it again. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was such a good fight. Rare to see fights like that. So competitive. Really good. It was just, it's one of my favorite fights probably in the last 10 years. One of them. And uh, no doubt it was one of Crawford's hardest fights. And no, many people might have been surprised that he didn't mention Spence. Because like I said, he was already a sharpened tool at the top of his game in his prime. By the time he got near with Spence and Styles do make fights. And he just figured him out. And it was very comfortable ahead or a comfortable win for Crawford. He's even joking, having conversations with people at ringside. Detailed. There's clips of it, and you, you, I doubt you saw that with Gamboa. I don't, I don't think he was having any detailed conversations with people at ringside besides his corner, because he was in jeopardy in that fight. True story, facts. So, with that said, I'm out. It's your boy. Uh, if you want to watch this full video link, it's down below. I put the channel. Shout out to Renee. They watch all my videos. Renee is mad cool, um, supportive of all my channels. Just want to say shout out to you. I am out.